how to use Facebook ad library to find winning products for you to drop ship. Okay, so here's the idea. We know that usually drop shipping websites like CJ Dropshipping has featured, like has a certain page, a specific page to uh, show you the most winning products, like the best selling products and the best products for you to drop ship. But if you want a more organic, a more, let's say, let's say a more direct way to look for winning products is uh, the Facebook ads library. Because um, th th in this method, the idea is very simple. We look at ads that is multiplied a lot by its seller, by its advertiser. And the logic behind it is that if the advertisement is, uh, is ran on a long period of time, and if it is multiplied a lot, then that product will must must make a lot of money because running ads is expensive, right? So if someone makes an investment on advertising a product, it it they must have a very good reason to do so. Okay, so let's get started. Le I'll go first by searching Facebook ad library on your browser and click ad library on top there you go facebook.com slash ad slash library okay so on this library uh on this ad library we will uh look at the uh, ads that are multiplied a lot over a long period of time because that is again a sign of a good selling product so on the search ads, this is depending on which market are you targeting on. Uh, in my case, it's Indonesia. Uh, however, Indonesian Facebook ads, usually they are containing games. So I, for this example, I'm going to click, just click all on the search ads because I want to sell worldwide again. And the Indonesian market, Facebook ads, they are filled with... Um, games actually and next is the ad category i want at all ads okay so now this is the weakness of facebook ads library you only you're only able to see certain niche of a product you only able to see a a specific product that you're looking for so for example like it has a search by keyword or advertiser right so if you want to search for like car parts or etc sure you can do it but if you're a drop shipper the logic is you might want to jump on the trend and sell the highest selling product regardless of the niches so if you're that person, a person who sells products regardless of niches and you sell them on Shopify, the tip is to use the zero with joiner emoji. And this essentially is like a, a space or a Unicode in every text. And since it is present in every text, if we copy and paste it to the keyword as a keyword, then it will review it will see all ads so go to go find zero with joiner emoji and click on the emojipedia.org website and once you're in their website over here just click copy and go back to ad library and paste them control v okay now at this point we can hit enter and search All right. Now, as you can see, we have over 50,000 50, results. And this is because, again, uh, we are searching uh, all ads, basically. Now, we, now this, is, uh, this is up to you, but uh, you can filter between active or inactive ads, or you can filter between um, the dates. You can also filter between the media type and the platforms. But on my case... I will just use all. But this is very useful if you want to, let's say, find the Instagram. Maybe you find out on your research that 
each of these apps have different demographic. Like for example, Facebook is for older people and Instagram is like for the more trendy and, and more uh, more spread out demography. Uh, this is uh, all depending on your preference. Okay, so nextly, what we want to see here on our search result, again, are the ads that are good selling and also uh, spans over a period of time. Like, for example, we see here, there's an inactive ad over here and it has 58 ads used. And this means that the ads are uh, reproduced a lot by the advertiser. Okay, so let's take a look at this ad over here because it does have a lot of uh, ad volume. Now, as you can see, there are 58 ads that are using the same template and they are all uh, advertised by Ad Astra Motion Ease. Now, if I'm not mistaken here, their products seem to be uh, like the shop uh, descriptions, like Motion Ease. I'm 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 guessing this is a well-being product product, and the Ad Astra maybe the is maybe the OEM, and they make their own product over here. So. I think this is a false positive because this is maybe just a company making their own product and they have the budget to advertise their product directly. But that is not who we are. We are dropshippers and we want to find products to dropship. So let's find other dropshippers products. Okay, so as you can see here, let's find another product like maybe oh this for example this is this has just been uh disabled but it does stretch over a period of time and as you can see uh this is also good two ads used over that period of time like um like only three days i think this doesn't see much success let's just go ahead and continue to scroll down to see what the selling products currently are but I guess we are not having any luck here okay so in this rare case of uh, we unable to find a product of course uh, unless the Genki choice over here and I think this is a drop shipper and I think they're having a good time selling these herbal products let's take a look at their ad so let's click summary see summary details and they are tailored towards the Japanese market, but I'm not sure if they are their own manufacturer. So let's see at details. And from the looks of it, I think this store is dedicated on selling that specific wellness product, which means that they are not a drop shipper, or maybe they are, but they're using a logo icon. Uh, this one is 50 50 but i think it's not representative enough for you to uh, decide if the product is worthy of uh, drop shipping so let's find products on a certain market let's see so a large market is let's see india let's see indian products okay so let's Again, let's choose the ad category to all ads and the uh, keyword to be the zero with joiner. Okay, and click enter. Let's wait for it to load and okay, let's see. Now, if you're noticing, this does need of a good amount of critical thinking and as you can see the ads are inactive and these are old ads so let's find let's let's make a filter and change the act active status to active so we only see active products let's see all right so here are the apt the active products 
Uh, I'm pretty sure these are a store, an online store, not a dropshipping store. Let's just keep looking for dropshipping. Or maybe... Alright, so you know that the products are uh, sold by their own manufacturer if 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 the branding is consistent you know like if it, if if the profile is segmented if they have a general profile then uh, i think it's safe to assume that they're uh, drop shippers so let's find okay let's let's change the let's change the query to us the us okay let's find the us united states mm, can't find them no matter. Let's find uh, Philippines. Okay, so paste the add category again and paste our zero with joiner and click enter. Hopefully we will have selling ads now. I'm not sure why, but it seems that the advertisements on Facebook ads library here are not are not doing very well. Let's see. This is not a drop shipping. Uh, okay. Okay, in the last in the last bid to find a uh product, let's go to all. And by the way, I think uh this is a good way like this Facebook ads library is a good way to validate the results you see on dropshipping websites. So for example, if you see a product as well is good selling, it's a jackpot on the dropshipping website. You can validate that report by looking up the product in Facebook ads library and see if the ads are consistent to the uh, selling. Okay, by the way, so let's find all ads and let's search for a certain product. Let's say, what are trendy products like facial, maybe. Let's find facial products. Okay, and let's filter it to an active ad. Okay, so we will only see active facial ads across the world. Now, let's see, this is OEM, this is... This can be a dropshipper, but I'm not sure. But let's see if we can find products. We okay. So this looks like a store. And let's see if we can find a product. Okay. We are, it seems like we're we're not able to find a jackpot at this point. But that's just, I think that's based on luck. If you can find a good selling product with those, uh, with those properties, then you're, you're good to go. Then you're, you're, you hit the jackpot. But in our case over here, I think we do struggle in, in finding a good product. Okay, let's, let's find Morocco. Let's find products in Morocco. They may have something. Okay, so let's find it. Now, we will wait. And let's see. Still no product. Now, this is pretty concerning because it seems to me that the Facebook ads are not doing very well right now. Well, that may be because of TikTok also. Maybe people advertise on TikTok more at this time. We have a video about it, by the way. But you get the idea of uh, how to find products on Facebook ad library. I hope you have better luck and thank you very much.